damn it, let me go get my stuff this time. Damn it, each time I say, you know what, I'm forgetting my, um, my little lip balm, but I'm not gonna do that this time. Forget that shit. I don't give a damn. We just, it's just, I'm just gonna be doing this. I know, baby. I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna get at you in a minute. <sighs> Girls, I got some decisions that I need to make. And that's what spearheaded all of this. That's what brought all this on. So I had no choice but to cut the camera on, you know? Cause y'all my girls and you know I just needed to I needed to share this you know because you know I got me and want to marry my ass right now and um you know and honestly I don't want to get remarried right now I don't I want to enjoy this it seems like you know when when men meet me and get it get in my presence and I find it to be a blessing no really truly I find it to be a blessing because it further lets me know that I'm walking in my purpose and I'm doing what God has put me here to do. And so I don't find it offensive or anything like that, but people enjoy my presence, you know. And I guess my energy is just strong that way. I don't know. But when I tend to meet men, men want to engulf me. You know what I'm saying? They just want to just be up under me. And I'm okay with that because I feed them. I do all kind of shit to the motherfuckers. I make them feel like they something. You know, and because I, I, I love men. I just love men. Now, women, you know, I'm not gay, you know, but I, I can I can appreciate a beautiful woman. You know what I mean? I can appreciate that. But I'm just not gay, though. But something to do, okay, we all fucked up and we about to do something. I don't know. I, I've never done it in my life yet. But, hell, maybe one time I might be like, you know what I'm saying, nigga, let's see what that do. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But at this point in time in my life, I ain't mad at it. Let me just go and say that. You know what I mean? Now, three, something I ain't going to be able to do because the man that I'm loving and the man that I'm with, I, I can't see you doing what you do to me and I'm watching you do that to somebody else. And, nigga, I, I, I ain't going to be able to do that one. I, uh, no. Now, me and some of my girls, we on some hedonism shit, nigga. And we on some hostel. I got a room back. We in Bahamas. Some motherfucking well, Jamaica, some goddamn well, nigga. Uh, let's let the good times roll, bitch. Uh, uh, get off my back. Yeah, get off. Is that your feet? Yeah, one of them. Anyway, jokes. <laughs> but, uh, but real shit, though, you know, it's like, um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, guess, I guess it's just where I'm at in my life right now. And maybe it resonates. You know, and especially away from the camera, but in my personal life. That's what I want to do. I want motherfuckers to miss me when I'm away. I want motherfuckers to feel a certain type of way about me. Because then therefore, that means, nigga, you're getting my genuine motherfucking self. You're getting who I am. You know what I'm saying? All that I am, nigga, shit. Nigga, this is what's happening. I can't be nobody else. It's too much work. It's too much work for me to try to be anybody else. And then, too, I want motherfuckers to love, love and dig me. Not digging and loving my representative, it just don't work. You know what I mean? Nigga, take me for all my motherfucking quirks. Yeah, look, check this out. I got some trees out here. I like to do that every now and again. You know what I'm saying? Got my card in my purse. I put that out there first and foremost. Now, I understand a lot of brothers don't dig that. Especially men that are very um, white-collar dudes. They don't because, of course, because of their job status and stuff. And sometimes I've met men, but they'd be like, well, you know, there's something I might just have to deal with. You know what I mean? <laughs> he said, you know, I might just have to deal with that motherfucking shit. You know, as long as we're going to have some respect between this thing and you understand that that ain't how I get down. You, if you need that to do that, then therefore go ahead on and do that. And then therefore, but what you know what I'm saying, we doing what we doing and therefore, hey, you know, and I can I can respect that, you know, because a lot of dudes don't really like that, so I ain't mad at that. But, you know, girls, I got to, damn, you know. And let me also say this one more thing, too, for those of you guys that, you know, contemplating on getting married and things of that nature. I done been married before, so, you know, that's not something that I'm in a rush with. And a lot of these men are saying that shit to women, you know, I'm filling their heads up because a lot of women ain't never been married and they want to be married so motherfucking bad. The words, it's like, you know what, shit, a piece of man is better than none. Fuck it. Motherfucker just got out of jail. He paroled to my house. But God damn it, I'm going to make it work. You know, fuck all that. I don't have, I just don't, I, I, I choose not to be a wife right now. You know, 
baby, I don't want to be a wife right now. But can we be in a committed relationship? Can 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 I commit myself to you? I do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm willing to do that, goddammit. And then therefore she take me completely off the motherfucking market. You know what I mean? No problem, you know. But for me to even do that, I need to know that you got my my four corners, you know what I'm saying? I need I need to know that I'm surrendering myself to a man that's gonna make me feel safe, sexy, and seen. I'm going to need you to provide, protect, and prepare. I'm going to need you to love me as I am. I'm going to be able to, for you to respect the fact that it's me plus three. I'm not asking you to love my children as I love them, but I'm going to need you to respect them as such and understand that they're the nucleus of my life. This is my, this is my lifeline. This is all I got. This is all that I have. My children, they have a father that loves them a great deal, but I'm going to need you to respect them, though. That's what I'm gonna need you to do. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have, it's gonna have to be a respectful exchange. They're gonna call you Mr. So and So. They're not gonna call you by your first name. You know what I'm saying? My kids ain't one of them, no way. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna need you to respect them, respect their home. This is they, this is they, this is what they have. So you can't come up in here riding on my shit. Cause then therefore I'm gonna have to check you where wherever you cut up at is where the fuck I'm gonna check you at. And that's how I do mine. Nigga, I'm not gonna wait till we get all the way. Wait till we get the car for we you no, I'm gonna check your motherfucking ass where you showed out at. Damn it, you should have known better. Real shit. I'm not gonna beat around the bushes. I'm too old for that shit. Okay? I'm grown. I'm too many times grown. I ain't got time to be playing no games with no motherfucking niggas. I ain't got time to be, you know, baiting and switching and all that old time. Man, what? Are you kidding me? Nigga, I'll fuck the shit out your ass and keep it pushing after that. What we about to do now? Nigga, let's go get some golden bird and do it pushing. Can I put one in the air? I'm going to get on the passenger side. Shit, you can drive my car. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Let's go there and go get some chicken while you're bullshitting. Huh? Yeah. See, I'm one of them. I'm a full-grown woman, baby, and I mean full-grown-ass motherfucking men that be trying to do some shit, trying to do some shit with my motherfucking ass. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, I can't come on here all the time and share too much of my personal motherfucking business, I because my shit be on some cold-blooded shit. I'm telling you, I need to have a seminar on Tuesdays and Thursdays, okay? Who gonna make the potato salad around this motherfucker, huh? I have fun nowadays, and I ain't mad at it. That's why I'm saying to you ladies, get your shit together. So when you get to be my motherfucking age, your kids already got enough values instilled in their motherfucking ass words. They know right from wrong, and they know what the fuck they not going to do that you ain't going to put up with. You know what I'm saying? So then, therefore, when you come in your motherfucking bourgeois, and you kicking and you putting one up in the air, and you doing your thing, baby, that's living. Make the sacrifices that you need to make in your life right the fuck right now. So when you get in your 40s, you get to be around my motherfucking age. You got a piece of the rock. See, I'm not worried about whether or not Donald, uh, Donald Trump make it or not. He ain't going to make it no motherfucking way because he's going to lose to Hillary Clinton. Let's just go and get that on out there. You know what I'm saying? He call it win by default or whatever the fuck hell, how you want to say it. She's getting ready to be the president of the United States of America. Is that one right there, and I'm not mad at that, okay? But, however, if that stupid-ass motherfucker make it, niggas is gonna be, it's gonna be some motherfuckers and some problems, because this motherfucker trying to change some shit around Obamacare and all this old type of motherfucker. He trying to switch up all kind of motherfucking shit around this motherfucker. Okay, he's a businessman, but that motherfucker had bankruptcy four motherfucking times, so understand that shit. Some shit ain't worked out right. He didn't have marriages that done failed, businesses that done failed. Then this motherfucker want to act like didn't shit, excuse me, ever happen. Motherfucker want to sweep shit up under the rug. Nigga, we saw what your wife said. We also know what our uh, per, uh, president of the United States, what his wife also said. Motherfucker, you, how you going to break that up under the rug like that shit never happened? Yeah, see, you got to think about that motherfucker. Do you really want this motherfucker running this world? When some shit go down, he going to act like the shit never happened. Ain't that a bitch? Nah, I ain't going to be able to do that one. So that's enough of my little uh, political thing. I ain't finna come on here with all that shit, okay? But I'm just saying, my thoughts on that right there, you just got it, okay? Now we done with it. Now about these niggas I know. I'm having a good ass time, girls. I am. Take stop, stop taking your income tax money and just blowing it on motherfucking hair and bullshit. Start thinking about buying your ass a home. I'm gonna ask you to look up NACA, okay? They have a first-time buyer program, 
okay? Start getting to get yourself in a first time buyer program so you can buy yourself a home, so you can have some legacy for you and your children. Get some life insurance around this motherfucker. On these niggas that you fucking, the baby daddies, the niggas that you all, get some life insurance. So then therefore, you know what I'm saying, your the rest of your life gonna be about something. You know what I'm saying? Get a piece of the rock around this motherfucker and quit bullshit. Yeah, it's time for us to play, but then it's also time to take care of take care of some motherfucking business. And I took care of mine. That's why I'm living like how I'm living right now. Because my mama didn't teach me that. Let me be clear now. This was some shit that I had to think of on my own. Okay, what the fuck I want to do now? Do I want to live this right here the rest of my motherfucking life? Do I want to be crying and, and, and feeling all this way the rest of my motherfucking life? Or I'm going to have to make some changes at some point in time. I'll have to put my foot down, goddammit. Enough is enough. Now, I'm going to go through this motherfucking trial and tribulation, but it's only going to be for a short period of time. Because at some point in time, you know, you, you get up and you get over, but you got to be uncomfortable. That's the only way you're going to grow. You can't grow in comfort. That's why you got to move people around in your life. You're going to only go a certain way with them motherfuckers. Everybody ain't going to the same place, but you're going to meet motherfuckers in your life, and you're going to go this distance, and that's all you can go. Now it's time to bring a new motherfucker in. Now you're going to go another distance. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody don't pray for the same thing. Everybody ain't going for the same, ain't going to the same place. And everything ain't for everybody. So you have to have people in your life that's going to take you and push you to distance. If you can't grow with them, don't fuck with them. Period. If all this motherfucker is about is some bullshit, then that's all you're going to know is a gang of bullshit. No, you need some friends that's going to teach you some other shit. I'll be that virtual friend. I'll be that girl in your head, that auntie, or whatever you need me to fuck to be. I'm going to be that motherfucker in your head saying, girl, don't you go that motherfucking way. I got the light, bitch. Hey, I done went that way. The probability of it being a fuck up is real strong. Bitch, don't go that way. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, on that note, I'm getting ready to go. Ken came in. Looked like he got us a big salad and shit made. We about to watch Wendy um, with Peter on that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's happening over here at my motherfucking pad. What's going on? Is you at home or is you at the crib? One of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Baby, I'm having fun. Let me do what I do. I ain't trying to fuck with nobody. I don't give a fuck about what nobody else got going on. Girl, hey, if you don't run your motherfucking program, mama, you ain't got me mad. I'm over here doing my own biz naive, baby. And I think I'm doing it very well. I ain't fucking with nobody. I sleep real good at night. Okay, and I come like a motherfucking freight train. Let me also throw that on the back end of that. My yoni is strong, baby. And long, this motherfucker, bitch, you. Yeah. Everything is running. Everything is moist. Everything still get wet and everything still do what the fuck it do. Huh? Isla. Huh. It's called I ain't got no problem. How about that shit? Do I got a problem, Ken? Okay, there it is there. That's confirmation for that ass. I'm about to watch Wendy put one up in the motherfucking air. Got a little dragon's blood going. My son got to be to work at 5 o'clock. My daughter and my baby, they doing their thing. They got their friends coming over. They doing a the swimming thing. Nigga, we all right over here at this motherfucking Ponderosa. Huh? Handle your motherfucking business. Ken got to be to work at 2 o'clock or whatever have you. Nigga, we chilling until, until about 1 o'clock. We got about 2 hours. Holla at your motherfucking partner. I'm gone. I'm out of this motherfucker. See you later. Bye. Gone.